Eastern tree frogs with more skin darkening melanin pigment weren't more likely to survive the 1986 nuclear accident in Ukraine than frogs with lighter skin, leading to populations today that are dominated by darker frogs. Now, this was discovered in 2022 after researchers studied more than 200 male frogs whose habitats were spread across 12 different breeding ponds throughout the radioactive contamination zone. The researchers found that on average, 44% were darker than those outside of Chernobyl. We consider the most plausible explanation to why frogs within the Chernobyl exclusion zone are changing color is that the extremely high radiation levels at the moment of the accident selected for frogs with dark skin. Radiation can damage the genetic material of living organisms and generate undesirable mutations, researchers wrote in a post on the conversation about their research. However, one of the most interesting research topics in Chernobyl is trying to detect if some species are actually adapting to live with radiation, so hey, that's pretty cool. In 2023, a study discovered distinct genetic differences between Chernobyl dogs and dogs living only 10 miles away. Now, the dogs in Chernobyl are extremely radioactive, so this affects their health and it makes it worse compared to normal dogs. If you didn't know, not all the animals living around Chernobyl are wild, as a lot of the dogs were actually left behind by their owners and they started to reproduce. But veterinarians, radiation experts and volunteers from a group called the Dogs of Chernobyl capture the dogs, vaccinate them against diseases, and tag them. Now, in addition to tags, some dogs are fitted with radiation detector collars, and with these collars, us humans have a better understanding of where the radiation is and in what places it's the strongest. It's so dangerous for humans to go here and hands-on study the animals and effects the radiation had on it, but these trackers have made it easier. Now, these dogs are, of course, radioactive. Visitors to the area are advised to avoid petting the dogs to minimize radiation exposure, no matter how cute they might be. But unfortunately, all this radiation has affected their health. These dogs have increased rates of cataracts because the eyes are the first tissues to show signs of chronic exposure to ionizing radiation. But the good news is the unique genetic diversity of these dogs makes them ideal candidates for future studies seeking to understand the long-term genetic health effects of highly radioactive environments on populations of large mammals, especially in understanding the biological underpinnings of human survival in regions of high and continuous environmental assault, the researchers said. Birds in Chernobyl have actually had their brains shrink over time. Yeah, there are 489 different species of birds in the exclusion zone, but they've all been affected by the radiation. A study of barn swallows from 1991 to 2006 indicated birds in the exclusion zone displayed more abnormalities them birds from a control sample, including deformed beaks, albinistic feathers, bent tail feathers, and deformed air sacs. Birds in the zone also had less reproductive success. Now, these birds often had smaller brains, malformed sperm, and cataracts, presumably a result of the radiation-related genetic mutations. Now, some bird species reported in the journal Functional Ecology appear to have had adapted to the radioactive environment by producing higher levels of protective antioxidants with correspondingly less genetic damage. Now, for those birds, Dr. Masaro said, chronic exposure to radiation appears to be a kind of unnatural selection, driving evolutionary change. Now, spiders are already pretty creepy, but radioactive ones? No, thank you. Now, the webs that they build are crazy as they are not like normal ones. In fact, they are woven in abstract ways that suggest genetic mutation is at hand. Instead of calculated, intricate, and symmetrical patterns like usual, the spider webs discovered in Chernobyl had very unusual, messy, and chaotic designs that researchers believe may be a direct result of a mutation within the spiders. Now, researchers have also found that there are more radioactive spiders than not in this location. Although there's been rumors of giant monstrous spiders roaming around in this area, the real spiders appear to be just making weird webs, so I guess you don't really have to worry too much. Animals in general have mutated a scarily amount in Chernobyl. A lot of these creatures are born with major birth defects, such as multiple heads, muzzles, and legs. They've also found other defects, such as a cat with two faces, a lamb with eight legs, a two-faced calf, and another calf with legs growing from its back. Now, in 
1989, farmers reported birth defects in their animals, as one cow even had a mutated cleft lip. Now, this is all due to the radiation in the area, and it's truly terrifying. Wild boars roam free through Chernobyl, and they've been discovered to have radiation that's more than 2,000 times what's considered safe. Now, this makes them extremely unsafe, especially to eat. Researchers discovered that from 50 samples of boar meat, 88% were above the regulatory threshold for consumption in Germany. While radioactivity from Chernobyl is still present in some samples, apparently a large portion of the radioactive material in some boar meat originated from earlier nuclear weapons testing in the 1960s. But all I'm hearing though is don't eat the wild boar. Now do you see this giant catfish swimming around? How does this even happen? Well, apparently it's radioactive and it grew in size. This video is from 2016 and it went viral. It's a catfish swimming around in the cooling pond of the Chernobyl power plant. Very, very few mutations lead to extra large size, explains University of South Carolina radiation specialist Dr. Timothy Masso. Instead, they grow less efficiently, they're less capable of catching food, and they tend to not live as long. Now that's why this is so shocking, because this catfish is so large and it shouldn't be. All I know is I wouldn't go fishing in that area. Do not drink the cow's milk as it is radioactive. Now people have been getting diagnosed with thyroid cancers and scientists believe it's due to the milk from cows who had eaten contaminated grass in the first few weeks following the Chernobyl incident. In 2018, it was said that Ukraine still has radioactivity levels up to five times the official safe limit, research suggests. Now scientists sampled cow's milk from private farms and homes in the ravine region, about 125 miles from the site of the catastrophic explosion. Now researchers found levels of radioactivity in the milk and it was above Ukraine's safe limit. Now this is one of the lasting effects from the incident and it's crazy that it's still happening today. Fungi in Chernobyl have mutated a lot and it turns out it can block radiation. Scientists discovered that it consumes radiation through radiosynthesis and they decided to experiment with it in space and over the course of a month they found that the fungus actually blocks radiation by literally eating it. So NASA took some for experiments as astronauts on the International Space Station are exposed to 20 times the radiation than we are on Earth. The experiments on the ISS revealed that it was utilizing melanin to transform radioactive gamma rays into chemical energy. Now this is actually really exciting because this ability may turn out to be useful in future space exploration. NASA is hoping that the fungus may be used to both shield equipment and the crew from deadly radiation during long space flights and even more importantly though, help clean up radioactive waste. The Bloody Red Forest is one of the creepiest places in Chernobyl. It's a set of woodland where all the pine trees turned a blood red color right after the meltdown, and they died not long after. But 15 to 20 years after they were exposed to radiation and died, these trees were not decaying, when at this point, normal trees would be long gone. Due to this, scientists decided to run some tests and found out that the decomposition rate of those trees was way less less than normal. Now this suggests that radiation exposure has a detrimental effect on the ability of the Chernobyl ecosystem to replenish itself with nutrients. And with leaves in contaminated areas staying intact and dry, this could present a fire hazard, which in turn presents the danger of radioactive contaminants being spread outside the exclusion zone by forest fires. So that is just scary and not good at all. 